Oh yeah, here we go again, guys, guys, welcome back one and all to a brand spanking new series of arc. Now look at that head, what a mug, look at that thing, it's all shaved and stuff. It's not often I greet you guys with a shaved head, but hey, it's a new year, it's a new series. Happy new year, everybody, and happy new modded series. Uh, we're back in arc. we're back for a brand spanking new adventure on a brand new map that I've never experienced before, I've never played it not as a mod not as a an official map that's right this is the long island long no not the long islands this is the, the, no, i don't know why i was thinking about long island iced tea like an alcoholic beverage no, this is the lost islands map added literally like two weeks ago never got around to playing it but here we are i'm excited to check this one here out we've got some new dinosaurs we've got mods we got a lot of mods i think this might be one of the this might be content of one of the most heavy stacks of mods i've ever played with i just punched my microphone away from my face yeah this is gonna be a weird wacky one it's gonna be fun we're revisiting a mod that we haven't played in quite some time this is the primal fear mod baby that's right you can probably tell by the title of the video already but uh we're back playing this i haven't played it since i think the last series we had with the primal fear mod was like july till october last year so it's been over 12 months about 14 months ago is when the last one finished and i thought it was about time to uh revisit this one and check it out but before we get too far into it guys if you want to help me kick this one here off with a bang if you want to kick off the new year with a bang new series new modern survival new everything then please go ahead and i can't do the thumbs up emote because i don't have the emotes thing just yet but go ahead and punch that thumbs up make it rain those thumbs up so, hey if you haven't yet done so subscribe to the channel while you're at it to make sure you don't miss any of the uploads this series we are about 7,000 subscribers away from cracking 1 million subscribers and look at my beard just slowly growing in real time man they're like 10 seconds we've been recording here we've already got half a beard although it's it's going to be a scruffy head of hair until i get my hair sorted anyways 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 we're gonna get this thing going um yes the primal fear mod we've also got a stack of other mods installed that are going to ensure this is a a, a right old time as always uh, after a couple days i'll drop my settings down below in the description you can go ahead and copy them paste them uh, you can you know download the mods for yourselves and stuff like that but normally i wait a couple days before doing that just to make sure that everything is running smoothly and um you know just make sure that everything's all fine and dandy Andy. Now, um, before we get too far into it, I do want to wish you all a happy new year and a Merry Christmas because I haven't really recorded a video since Christmas. Um, I think Christmas Eve was the last time I recorded. It's when we kind of uploaded the finale of um, our last series. So yeah, it's, I took, it took about a week off. As some of you may know, I, well, my wife gave birth. I didn't, I didn't give birth to nothing, but my wife gave birth to a son. I have a little boy now. Um, so I've been spending a little bit of time with uh, the two of them as well as our other daughter, Giselle. Um, just, just chilling out with the four of us and Santi, our dog, of course, too. Um, kind of just enjoying Christmas, really. That's, that's really all there has been to it. I want to get a hatchet. <laughs> Let me quickly get a hatchet real quick. Um, there's been a really, really nice little period. Kind of, it's not often I take a break, um, at all at all i was gonna say during december but at all um but we took a week off during december which is a very very yeah i never done it never really done it in my life so that was it was nice and refreshing and now i'm excited to get back into some videos i'm exciting for a big 2022 this should be i'm gonna touch some wood just to like not jinx this one here but touch wood touch wood I want to go and like give myself bad luck, bad, bad voodoo or something, but this should be the year that we break. I just, I just took a poop. I just took a poop. Uh, this should be the year that we break a million subscribers. Now, if we don't, then something's going to go horribly, horribly wrong, considering we're at literally 993,000 right this second. So if I can't get those last 7,000 by the end of this year, then hey, I'm sure it'll still be a good year. I'm not, not going to let that get me down, but we, sh we should do it soon. I'm super duper excited about that one there. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers, the viewers and everybody who made 2021 so amazing i hope that 2022 is equally and maybe even more amazing for me and for you guys at home but uh yes today we're going to be focusing on getting things up and running sorted don't know why i crafted a regular campfire i wanted an s plus campfire um but yes we're going to get some tools we're going to get a little little bit of a shelter perhaps uh maybe even i got wait what was that healing stew where did that go hold on a sec oh in here what am i doing here healing stew i can already get healing stew 
Uh, you know what? I'll craft one of these up. Why not? You know, we got a tendency of dying during our episode one premieres. Um, well, and if I don't die, my teams normally die. That's even if we get around to actually taming something. So we'll see how we go. But at first glance, not a lot of wild dinosaurs around this area. It's pretty, pretty quiet little area. In fact, the map looks massive. I haven't really looked at this map or this DLC. It's not really a DLC, but... I guess it's just new official content, but I haven't really looked at it a whole bunch, to be honest. Um, haven't looked at the map, so I'm going completely blind. I wanted to experience it myself firsthand. Oh, so this Tyranodon looks awesome. What are you? You're just an ordinary... Oh, it's an alpha. Okay, alphas don't attack. That's good. That's great. That's nice. After last series where every single alpha, <laughs> pretty much 90% of the dinosaurs on the map were alphas and every single one of them wanted to kill us constantly. Uh, it's refreshing to not have one want to kill me for a change. So that's really, really nice. Um, pleasantly, ple pleasantly surprising. Pleasant. It's quite pleasant. Let's be real with ourselves. This is actually a really beautiful looking area. I would happily set up a little beach shack out here, to be honest, which is um, not really seeing any signs of, of threats, to be honest. It's, it's really, really nice. Um, it's currently 8 a.m. day one in the world here, uh, which is great. I'm sure that once dinosaurs do populate, though, things are going to get a little bit funkier. In fact, I can see a sarco just across the beach over there. And there's also... Okay. All right. So that's where danger dinosaurs are from. That's where we're not going to go. I can see a T-Rex and I can see a Sarko. So we're going to we're gonna stay over here on a nice little peaceful beach for now. And we can set up a little house and it'll be really, really nice. The only thing we are missing though is dinosaurs to get some hide. So if uh, we could see some dodos showing their face, that would be lovely. Maybe I just get some... Oh, I was going to say I get some bowlers up and running. That way I can like bowler some pteranodons down. But uh, to get a bowler, we need hide, which means we're going to kill some stuff, which means we're going to have to leave our little island here very, very shortly. Um, man, not even a dodo. This beach is like so barren. It's so weird, actually. It's always weird playing on a new map. Uh, I guess different design philosophies, depending on who built it type of thing. But it don't matter. Anyways, let's have a look at what we've actually got here. So we've got a bunch of mods, uh, decorative mods. I really want to do some building this series. We've kind of slacked on building recently. Um, so I'm pretty keen to get into that. Also, Primal Spear. But God, this is a thing. Let's get one of those. Let's get us... Um, this thing can do Torpor, in case you don't know. And I might... Nope, I can't skin it. But... Wait, did I craft up an... I thought I got a regular spear a second ago. I was still get a regular spear. That way I can actually do some damage. Or maybe two of those. And we will drop... Um, our little skin onto it. Santiago spear, which is the spear from... Oh, and we got this axe skin too. There's a bunch of skins here, all from the upcoming cartoon. There's an arc, like an anime, I suppose, coming out. I don't know if that's this year or next year or what, but um, that's coming up. So that'll be... That'll, I'm pretty excited for that. That'll be cool. Um, this Pelagornus looks like he might be the, the, the one to go down. I don't even know if I can hurt him or not, but we'll try. Um, or, you know, he's going to fly away. Yeah, okay. I can't kill you just yet. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. I'm going to put some levels into melee damage. And unfortunately, I think we need to leave our little island of tranquility here. But at least there's... Oh, actually, maybe I'll head over this way instead. I don't really want to go over to the Sark. Oh, hello. Yes, you're just the guy that I'm looking for. Um, Well, not particularly, but I, I don't care. I'll take you anyways. Yes, give me that hide. Give me that meat. Fantastic. And now, surely I can get... Oh, I got to unlock a bowl of furs, don't I? I can't remember what level we got to be to get a bowler, but we... There we go. There's the level up. We're already level 9. I need to have some movement speed going, I think. Now, what have we unlocked so far? We can get spyglasses and torches and uh, lights and water and pestles and narcotics. We're smashing through it. Food potions. I guess that's a new primal fear item. I've, I don't remember ever seeing this before, so that's kind of cool. Um, we obviously got the new Genesis part 2. Oh, we got boomerangs. Boomerangs are good at knocking stuff out, aren't they? Or am I imagining... Oh, there we go. We literally just unlocked the bowler. So that is fantastic. Um, I need a little bit of fiber and then we can... Yeah, that's it. We got Lethal's reusable mod, which is going to help us with uh, reusable items like grapple hooks and bowlers. So we're going to get one of those instead of the regular one because why wouldn't we? I should probably set up a campfire, get some food going as well because it's only a matter of time before we get hungry. As a matter of fact, uh, it isn't a matter of time. It is right this second. We already are halfway down on health. So... Let's get, some, uh, let's get some wood in here and light this baby up and we'll uh, let this stuff cook up while I go venture, I suppose. This area seems to be the way to go. I would really like to take... Actually, I'm going to grab some poop while I'm at it. I don't want to wait too long in getting a farm up and running. 
uh every series we either don't do a farm or it takes us like 100 episodes to do a farm i'm kidding maybe sometimes 30 to 50 episodes to get a farm up and running but um i know the primal fear from memory revolves very heavily around farming so i don't want to like sit on that i want to get straight into it if possible and uh you know not waste too much time i want to get the farm going asap and pronto type of thing as soon as we get a house up and running i want to get that sorted there uh we're also gonna have to find somewhere nice and safe to live I don't know where that's going to be, but I'm kind of spotting this little plateau up here in the distance. Do you see that? It kind of looks like Pride Rock from Lion King. You know, the whole like... And you know, the whole the Simba up in the air is being born and stuff. Anyways, yeah, that's what I'm kind of vibing over there. So that looks kind of cool, kind of safe, kind of kind of just chill really. So we'll see how we go. Um, we got a tech parasol right here. We got a Dilo. All right. You know what? I mean, Dilos are kind of deadly in this mod from memory. He also looks kind of big for a dollar, so it might be an alpha, but that didn't work. Oh, yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Okay. 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 Um, oh, it's an apex. Oh, dip. oh gosh. Why am I so slow? Uh, I'm crafting. Why am I crafting a spike? I'm about to speed right now. Nope. 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 I can't fight an apex. <laughs> All right. We go. Oh, hello. How you doing? I thought alphas weren't killing us. I thought we just established that alpha dinosaurs were peaceful today. Oh, that's not great. But there we go. All right, first death of the day. I did not expect it to be from a dodo, but there you go. Okay. One second. We're oh, nice. We spawned right next to our campfire. Perfect. But one second, we're like praising the fact that uh, alphas aren't killing us. And we're on the search for dodos. And then the next second, we're dying to them. So that's just... It's just fantastic. What a what a brilliant start to a brand spanking new series. Now, I do want to kind of mention something. I got a little surprise planned for when we reach 1 million subscribers. Something I've had in the works for a while. Just because I didn't know when that million subscribers was going to happen. Um, let's just say it's it's kind of it's it 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 it, 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 it rhymes with purge. Um and and it will release around the time we reach a billion subscribers i am really really excited to get this one out to you something i've been working on for quite some time with an artist um also my poor oh, not again not again please don't not again why am i talking about why am i talking about things that aren't relevant to our survival right this second and watch this spawn me on the other side of the map why do you watch us not have so much luck as to spawn right next to our campfire where is it wait a second oh no Yep. <laughs> All right, we spawned in the opposite direction. I knew it. Um, okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Thankfully, the psycho was busy eating somebody else. Also, there's a little backpack over here. What have we got here? What have we... Ooh. Oh, T-Rex legs. But if there's a dead T-Rex, then who killed the... All right, I'm not going to stand around and wait to find out who killed the T-Rex. We're just going to get back to our island and get our stuff, um, which might be uh, not as, you know, it might be easier said than done when there's an Alpha Dodo currently guarding our stuff. But uh, good to know, good to know that our arc skills are, you know, right up and polished as usual. <laughs> Nice to know we haven't lost our touch whenever we kick off a series and just die at plentiful amounts of time, but oh wells, oh wells, oh wells. All right, I, all I, I want to do right now is get over there and get out of there before we litter this entire beach with dead bodies, which we've kind of already done. Um, I wonder if I can... I can probably bowler that dodo. Anything is. Got to get my stuff back before we do that, don't we? Yes. Walk away, Alpha Dodo. Walk away. I love how our episode one already has like a boss protagonist, antagonist. Where the protagonist, it, where, it's the antagonist. Uh, we've already got a boss that we're kind of trying to deal with. Also, yes, I'm risking it all to pick up a piece of poop. What is wrong with me? Okay, I'm going to try this out here. Can I bowler it? Please say yes. Please say yes. Please be a yes. 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 Okay. 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 Hey, do you want to join my team? You've proved your worthiness already. Um, I don't know how long that boulder's going to last because I don't have a spyglass to find out, but I'm just going to keep on poking him, poking him, poking him, poking him, poking him, poking him, poking him. And he's not dying. He's not dying. He's not falling asleep. Oh, uh, and I broke my spear. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That was fun. That was fantastic. That was lovely. Um, I'm actually tempted to take down this parasaur because I feel like that could also be quite handy to me. Also, the dude, he's still alive. Or well, not still alive. He's still bowling. Yes! Actually, he's running away! Okay, all right. I might actually, might, might actually have to jump on him here. Hold on. If, if I can at least get him off of my beach, that would be lovely. Um, but, okay, I just broke all my spears. Okay, cool. We're going to go and cry ourselves to sleep now because that just sucks. Uh, we need to pick some more. Oh, he's going to come back. I already know it. But I need to at least get another one of these poison pikes going if we're to try and tame something up here. If I can get this parasaur, that'd be awesome. 
But we'll see how we go. I'm seeing other Sarkos up that beach as well. And that's not making me feel too easy at all. Um, where's that cooked meat gone? Let's get that into our hot bar. Let's... Um, yep, there we go. Let's get another spike, pike, spear thing going. And I kind of... Ooh, we got a, we got a regular Parasaur out here. Now, Parasaur would be handy. It'd be nice to get ourselves some uh, good stash of berries for our, I don't know, future survivors. We can get some narcotics and that sort of stuff going. But at the same time, it'd be also nice to just use it as a means of travel so I can actually travel around quite nicely. Now, what do we have over here? What are you? It's a purple drop of some variety. Um, oh, it's a loot crate. Okay, 35. Aha, that's right. I forgot that I... Oh, great. All right, well... We're running from Alpha Dodos yet again. <laughs> Don't mind me. Uh, also, I think I can see like an... Uh, it looks like a giant peg of Mastax over on our spawn island. So that's also pretty sucky. We're not safe anywhere, basically. We're not going to find safety anywhere. You know what? Why am I running from this Dodo? I can bowler him. We just learnt this. Right? Yeah. Now, what are you? All right. It's another Alpha. It's level 170, this one here. So I'm just going to... going to break us. Oh, come on, man. I can't catch a break. Um... Come on. I got to get another one of these up and running. Oh, do I need more? All right, what am I missing here? I need two knocker berries. Come on. There we go. No? Oh, I already got them. Wait, did I craft up two of these or something? Anyways, I just want to poke it a few more times to see if I can actually knock this thing out. But I don't like my chances here. Oh, I don't know when that bowl is going to break, but let's just hope that it doesn't break anytime soon. All right, he's going to fight me. He's going to fight me, isn't he? No, he's going to run. Okay, well, I've still got my spear. We may as well pursue it. Hey, look, these donors are kind of deadly. Mate, mate. Oh! Oh, we did it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, there's a chance. There is a chance. And that's all I need. All I need is a chance and we can make things happen. Often I need more than a chance. I need a lot of luck. I need a lot of favorable outcomes in my direction. But we're just going <laughs> to... Let's see. Wait a second. I just realized that this isn't how you tame alphas. I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's been, like I said, it's been a while since we played this mod. And I'm pretty sure if my memory serves me correctly... We need a certain type of kibble to do this, don't we? I think I need toxic kibble. So I can't tame you up. Sorry, buddy. I'll take my berries back. Uh, what I will do, though, is kill you. Uh, if I can. If it could be ever so kind as to just just die, shrivel up in a bowl, and give me your meat and hide, that would be fantastic. I think, though, what we do need to do is, yeah, like I said, I think we've got to kill some toxics. And I feel like you got to feed them toxic kibble. Or well, not toxic alpha kibble. I can't remember how it works. Well, man, like I said, it's 14 months ago. You know how much has happened over the last 14 months in my life? Probably the same for a lot of you guys. A lot. Anyways, let's get that alpha hide. I just wanted regular hide, but I guess I'll take the alpha hide. And we just so happen to have a parasaur right here in front of us. Well, I was saying earlier, I would like a berry harvester. Parasaurs aren't... Oh, you're only level 40. You're going to die instantly. If, like, if, if I got another one around here, I might consider that. But... Ooh. Oh, no. Nah, come on. Oh, do I fight the dodo? No, nah, I'm going to ignore the dodo. <laughs> oh, oh, no, not some dodos. They're like even worse again. I don't... Oh, oh my God. Okay. When you're, when you're, when you're, when you're trapped by dodos, dilos, and parasaurs. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the reality of the situation right here, right now. It's uh, not an ideal one, but it's the one that we've been dealt. Um, look, I can, I can bowler this little dude, can't we? We can do that. We can do that. Bam. Yeah. Oh, it's a toxic zombie dodo. All right. I should be able to kill this one here. In fact, can I just hit him with... All right. It's going to be better off using this one here instead. Oh, yeah. Now, can I tame you? I'm pretty sure I can't. But I'll try. Do you eat meat or berries? Man, my memory is shocking. Like, like really bad. Hey, you know what? I'm just going to I'm just gonna kill you. I'm going to kill you and take you a toxic hide instead, mate. Come here. Hey, get killed. Get wrecked. You're going to help me. In my survival today. And yes, we got some toxic blood out of him too. Fantastic. All right. Well, I think we're going to settle for a par... Ooh. Yeah, I got no use of a Tyranodon. But I could kill it. I'm actually going to kill this thing. Yeah, I'm 100% going to kill this thing. Why wouldn't we? Nope. Nope. No, no, no. That's why we wouldn't. Because he's going to fly away from us. All right. Oh, you're just a regular Tyranodon too. You're not the alpha one from earlier. Oh, that's cool. I could actually... You know what? Stuff it. I'm going to tame it. Look, I'm not high enough level yet to tame the thing up, but that don't matter. We're going to do it anyways. Also, what is going on with this? Oh, that's its stats. That's awesome. 
it actually tells me what level what like what stats he has and where his levels are that's what mod is doing this is this a primal fear thing because if so i like it I mean, this is a really really cool add-on unless it got added in an update like today <laughs> or this week like i said haven't played arc the past week then uh this is this is, this is fantastic i'm vibing it i'm vibing it quite a bit um yeah look obviously i can't fly this thing until we get a saddle and i think we're gonna be like level 30 something to get a saddle for it uh but we can we can still you know send him in to do our dirty work level 38 <laughs> all right it's a bit higher than i remembered it being but look we, we're already level 19 so that's not terrible let's get some stamina some health some speed yeah we'll get there we'll be right um, I'm hoping though he decides to eat his meat kind of soon. Um, cool. 10 pieces of meat is all he's going to need. Fantastic. All right. There you go. I'll leave you with the remaining nine. And I'm pretty sure he should tame up quicker than he regains consciousness. So nice. All right. That's that's the first dinosaur potential. I don't want to you know count my chickens just yet, but we're on, we're on a roll. We're on, well, I wouldn't say we're on a roll, but we're on the, we're on the right track. That's the word I'm looking for. So you stay right here. Don't you move. Don't you move. This is probably the safest place on this on this island right this second so um let's let's try and let's try and keep it that way shall we let's try and keep it that way so i guess while our pteranodon is here doing pteranodon thing in fact it's not really a pteranodon thing he's just he's just eating some meat while we wait him for him to tame up i think we're going to set up a little bit of a shelter the question is where are we going to do it this island although really really cool it's kind of populated it's also kind of dangerous so i'm thinking we head back to starter island as i'm going to label it especially because we got an easy spawn point right there the only downside eels we're gonna have to somehow get back and forth now after a certain level, we can obviously get ourselves a raft. Ooh, we can do that right this second, as a matter of fact. Or um, maybe a canoe, which we can also do. Uh, I don't know what smoked. Actually, all right, what, 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 like, what, what's the difference in unlocking these, by the way? 16 and 8. Wow, you can get canoe at a really low level. Well, look, I think I'm just going to stick to canoe. Um, wait, what am I going to need for a canoe? I might need a lot of hide if I need a lot of hide. Okay, I think it's pretty much the same. Um, but the good thing about the canoe is, well, we don't need to build on this thing. We're not we're not looking for a portable base or anything like that. Or are we? No, 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 we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not going to do the raft game. We're just going to get a little canoe so I can canoodle back and forth. And uh, that'll be that. Now, like I said, I need like 30 hide. So who wants to be my little hide dummy? I think you're looking like a mighty fine option there, little, uh, little dodo. So come here, friend get spiked and then get bulleted and then get poked um now just just go hey no 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 Urgh, that's annoying all right crafted up this backup spear let's do this thing come on come on come on uh i think i think we get it i think we get it these are the weakest dinosaurs in the mod so hopefully um <laughs> if i can't kill this we're in a bit of trouble um come on come on come on come on come on come on and there we go fantastic all right now got that hide for oh it's only gonna give me toxic hide i forgot <gasps> okay i need a regular dinosaur we can't be killing toxics alphas apexes or anything of the sorts there is that parasaur oh or on the other hand hold on a second hold on a second hold on a second hold on a second not on my ouch he still snuck it you stole my bowler well Jokes on you. I wrapped you up with that bowler, so get absolutely wrecked, little Pegamas Dax. Where is your name, by the way? Where did he just go? Oh my gosh. I thought he went flying. I was like, where did he go? It's all good though. Okay. 40 hide. I reckon that's perfect. Oh, okay. It just blew up right next to me. Can I get my canoe yet or what? Uh fiber and a little bit more thatch. Wow. Lots of thatch involved in the canoe. I guess it makes sense. It's pretty much the entire it, it, it's literally a little thatch boat what can you expect um i'll just get a couple hundred of these i'll grab a little bit more thatch and we'll get this canoe going and from this canoe i fully expect us to get like a bunch of experience from that too so that'd be kind of cool too we can get some levels potentially all right craft it up it's gonna take a little bit of time unfortunately we're just gonna go for a little bit of a run down to the beach um also I just saw something in here a minute ago. Or really at the start of the episode, but where did it go? Hold on a second. I saw I saw something. I saw is it emotes? Yes. We got the unlock emotes. And then we got hair. Can I get some hairstyles too? 
Yes! I'm 100% going to give myself a haircut. You better believe I am. Yeah, this is how I unlock my uh, my stuff, by the way, guys. <laughs> we get the emotes, and then we get the things. And now, bam! Look at all the things I can do. Um, most of them, anyway. So that's, that's really, really cool. Then there's also... I've actually, I don't think I've ever gone over this in a video. There's also the emote drink, um, which is these ones. Level 20, we're going to be to do that. In fact, guess what? We are level 20 already. There we go. Um, emotes. There we go. So then I drink one of these. These ones here. Are, oh my gosh. I need crystal for one of those. And that basically lets you do the little thumbs up and little crazy dances and stuff. It's really, really cool. Anyways, we got our canoe ready to go. Let's do this thing. We can head back to base. And we can do we can we can build we can build a little house. <laughs> head back to base. I mean we can head back to island and build a base. But there we go. We've done it. I don't know what it means by re I actually can't remember if I ever used Oh, damn, there's a mega moss chops over there. I can't remember if I ever actually crafted up a canoe in my Genesis 2 playthrough. I have no idea. Um in good news though. The island over here has some, what I would call, friendly dinosaurs that I can kill. <laughs> yes, we're taking advantage of their friendliness, but that's what we do. No, 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 no. Uh, hold left control. Yeah, I can't remember how these work. I used, I used the canoes. Actually, no, we definitely did. I do remember doing it. But we, um, I used canoes in some of the missions, because obviously there's like the down waterfall, waterfall rapids kind of canoe race, or whatever you want to call that. Um, but I guess I never... Yeah, I, oh, I don't know. I, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. How? How? How did you do that? That's against the rules. All right, I got another one of these, apparently. Do you want to join my squad? I should have just equipped some berries in the back there, and then he would have just tamed himself up, but I guess not. Um, oh. Did I kill this thing? It's unconscious. Oh, it's a, yeah, okay, it's a passive tame. Is it a passive tame? Is that what you call it when you literally let them steal your narco berries and they put themselves... Oh, wait, no. No, it's Medjo Berries that you want them to steal. That's right. Like, it's been a while since I've done the old Pegamastax thing. Um, clearly, because I'm struggling with... Uh, now, I can't even bowl this one either, by the way. Uh, we just got to gotta chase this one here. <laughs> because he stole my bowl of the pile of trash. All right, that's it. That's it. Just to cover myself from now on, I'm putting Medjo Berries in my O slot. That way, if a Pegamastax does decide to try and rob me, pickpocket me... He can, he can have the berries and he can tame himself up and he can add to my... Wow, I just broke my... For real? Okay. Okay, then. Okie dokies. That's cool. That's cool. Just breaking tools on Pegamast axes. But hey, at least we're getting hired. We're going to need some of that. So that's great. There we go. Also, I'll have my bowler back. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm thinking this is a pretty cool spot here to build build our first house. I think we're going to do that, to be honest, which is... So, what can I... Can, can I get anything? Can I get wood? Oh, we can. Uh, we're going to obviously have to... Yeah, get a whole stack of this stuff, but that's fine. Um, yeah, right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Even if we start out with two wood foundations and a bed, that would be, you know, enough to keep me happy for the time being. Um, it's foundations, though. Kind of slow. Um, you know what? Right here is pretty good. I don't mind this spot. Kind of works out kind of nicely. Ooh. Though... So, um, what are the things called? I think there's a starter block. I want to craft up one of these. Really, really cheap. I'm going to use these from now on whenever I'm building. I, I always forget to do it. But what you can do with these is really, really cool. Basically, I, I can't remember if I showed this last series. But I used this when we were building um, on top of my stone platform. Where we started our new base. I don't think I did. But what you can do is you can adjust the position of this. So you can go, you know, forward, sideways, up and down. And that's the one that I want to use. Because I don't want to go too high up. I kind of like to have it a little low on top of that you can also change the rotation but we don't need to do that uh and then basically you just replace it with your own stuff and now instead of having a giant step you've just got a little baby step it's really really cool i like it i like it a lot and it's going to come over here and oh snap oh we're in trouble oh we're in trouble oh no 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 i haven't even got my bed yet i haven't got my bed yet no yes ah <sighs> i guess the alpha pego caught caught with wait <gasps> you can spawn at a canoe? That's a thing? Oh, snap. I did not know that was a feature. That is sweet. <laughs> that is so cool. You know what's not cool? Uh, we got a... We got, we got an Alpha Pegabastax currently camping our beach. So that's a little bit sucky. But what are you going to do? I am going to go and put you down there. Uh, what do I need for some more pikes? 
I, need, I think I need some more fiber. Uh, yeah, this isn't ideal. Not ideal at all, but surely I can bowler this thing and we can take it down together, right? I'm going to say... I'm going to try. Uh, yes. That's what you get. That's what you get. All right. Headshots. Headshots with the spike. We actually might be able to knock the thing out, but... Ooh, easy knockout. That's what I'm talking about. The only downside here is... Oh, is my Tyranodon ready to go? I could, I could actually use our Tyranodon. I can, I can get my Tyranodon and take the thing down instead. Um, I can't see that far. My eyesight is not good enough. Mm, dang it. All right. Oh, uh, yes. I think it literally just tamed up. I saw it do this little animation. <gasps> okay. Um, how do I get this thing out to the pickup to move? Oh, what? You got to pick this thing up? Wait. Oh, pick up canoe. Oh, that's how these things work. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um, all right. All right. All right. Let me, let me try this then. There we go. All right. Now we got to canoodle it back across the little chasm of water. That's cool though. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I just want to get my tyrannid on. And then I'm going to tell my tyrannid on to go and take down Pegamastax. And then he's got some nice sweet levels out of it. And then um, awesomeness. I don't know what comes next. Okay. I didn't think that far ahead, but it's still going to be really, really cool anyways. Let's see. All right. There we go. Welcome to the squad, little tyrannid on. Um, I would say take a seat, but instead I'm going to say go and kill this thing right here for me, please. Take it down. Destroy it. Wipe the floor with it. Eat it. You're not going to? Oh, why? Because it's knocked out? Wait, can you not... Can you not... Can you not do... What? Oh, what good are you then? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I guess we'll just have to do it with our own two hands, hey? Um, this thing's got a lot of health. 4,400 of it, as a matter of fact. Also, he stole my berries. I forgot about that. Um, that means I'm going to have to hit it a total of like 110 times, I think. Maybe more. All right, am I better off using this? Nope. Can I get myself a... I'm going to have to get myself... <laughs> I have to get myself a little spear, I think. All right, there we go. We got some spears instead, I suppose. Uh, but either ways, guys, we got a team. And you guys know the drill by now. It needs a name. So get naming it down below in the comments. Um, I'll be looking through. And basically, if you see someone else's name that you like... Give it a thumbs up in the comments too. And because uh, obviously they pop up closer to the top of the comment section. Um, let me know what you guys think we should name our very white, green, uh, almost mustard colored Pteranodon right here. And uh, we'll have him, na him named up by tomorrow. Um, and as you guys know by now, by naming a dinosaur, you're pretty much sentencing it to death. Uh, yes, we, we seem to have this, this really bad track record of whenever we do name a dinosaur, it, it seems to die pretty much the next day. So be weary of that, you know, I'm, I'm warning you, if you do <laughs> drop some good name suggestions, there's a chance that it dies tomorrow. So, you know, just use that information at your own will, I suppose, is all I'll say. Anyways, I'm kind of actually tempted. Oh, look, we're halfway. I was going to... For real? I broke another spear. Man, we've broken so many spears today. I was going to say, I'm tempted to just leave the Pegamastax here to, like, do his thing, because he's not really bothering anybody. He's kind of just... All right, yeah, now stuff that. <laughs> I only break two spears on a dinosaur before I give up trying to kill it. It is what it is. What we do need, though, is resources. We're going to get some wood. That way I can craft some beds up. Uh, in fact, I should probably be able to do that right this second. Uh, might even only just settle on one since our canoe also acts as a bed. So that can be like a nice little backup plan. Uh, but if I can get some foundations down, if I can get some walls up, then that will be perfect. All right, now we're talking. I think we'll just start out with a little two by two and we'll kind of like expand it from there. But for now, we've got ourselves a little house, if you can call it that. In fact, I could only craft up seven walls. I didn't choose to do seven walls. It just conveniently ended up being like that. We're also probably... Uh, it's probably be, 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 in our best interest to get us a little storage box. So I'll quickly get one of those set up there too. We'll get our bed down, storage box down, probably a little campfire down there too. Where is my campfire? But I don't know where I put my campfire. Also, we got a little Lystrosaurus right here that I'm going to tame up because why not? We're going to do it with a little bit of a companion with us, I think. Um, let's just place our little bed over here. Nah, right there, I suppose that'll do. Let's get our little storage box up and running. And then, um, I guess I'm going like, to keep my Tyrannid. Ooh, let's get a big one. There is no point getting a small storage box when you can just go straight to a large one. Why settle for something like that when you can just go straight for the big stuff? We'll go and chuck this um, right here in the middle, I think. Yeah, 
I would decide at a later date if that was a mistake or not. Um, and for now, like I said, I'm just going to drop a lot of our resources and stuff in here that we don't immediately need right this second, but we still, well, probably will be soon. We got rocket carrot seeds, so that's pretty cool. I might even just leave some narco berry seeds in here. I don't normally grow narco berries, but it would be a fancy, it'd be a handy thing to uh to use at some stage we'll chuck our little t-rex arms i don't think we'll ever use those but whatever and i guess i'll just chuck everything in there there we go aside from our poop we'll keep the poop we're gonna use that soon i gotta get a little farm up and running anyways but guys i think we're gonna end this one right here i think despite the fact we died th th thrice or quite did i die three or four times today I have no idea. But regardless, the point I'm trying to make is I'm going to call today a success. We're ending with a tame. We're ending with a Tradidon, a canoe, and a... Well, I was going to say a roof over our head, but no, we got something better. We've got nice blue skies. Guys, <laughs> and this horrible haircut. If you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs up. If you're excited about this series, make sure you go ahead and let me know. If you haven't yet done so, subscribe to the channel. If you want to be one of the first million subscribers and get me one step closer to cracking it, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I think this is going to be a really fun series. I'm really, really excited about it. And I hope you guys are too. But until tomorrow, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.